welcome to another edition of the Neighbor Watch. I'm Matt. I'm Abe. Uh, we are patless and breathless tonight. Um, Pat is uh, on a work assignment and Brett is also. So it's the two of us. We uh, are wearing our matching St. Patrick's Day shirts. We yep. had some corned beef and hash and um, corned beef hash and um, um, some whiskey and some beer. Yeah. So happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Yes. And so there's some video I took of the spread that this guy made. We've been sitting here watching the March Madness. Yeah, and, I love it. Yeah, it's and, great. And having some uh, adult beverages, so it's been a nice night. Uh, we did want to come on to um, say that there is some information that that a 14-year-old child has been missing for over 36 hours. Uh, there has been an update to this post, uh, whether or not the child has been found, but it is a female. She's 14, about 4 foot 11. Um, she's a freshman at Doherty Valley High, and um, they live in the Gale Ranch Bridges community. Um, there's a post on Nextdoor. It's by a Sarah Ossi, ASI. Um, if you have any information, um, you can find that post and post it on there. There's a phone number uh, to call. Um, she has contacted the police, uh, but there has been no information. So yep. you just want to get that out. Um, you never want to hear something like that. So Yeah, so... You know, again, you know, we haven't heard anything from the police or anything yet, but, uh, you know, from that post, um, yeah, just wanted to spread the word and hopefully, uh, hopefully she's safe. Yep. And then also we saw that catalytic converter, another one, uh, yesterday was, was taken. Which, yeah. Um, crazy. And, and, uh, the rest of the stuff that there's a, a post on, um, someone's going to go to Ukraine or the border of Poland. In Ukraine to help um, pass out uh, supplies, um, and there's uh, um, information on there if you want to help out. Um, so those are the big things right now in the area. We just wanted to get on and do a quick video. Um, we were together and we are enjoying the March Madness. So, Cheers. Um, who do you have winning? So I'm going Gonzaga, but um, we'll see. You know, we had some upsets. You know, K uh, Kentucky went down. Uh, you know, the tournament's great. Love the tournament. It's, you know, awesome time of year. You know, ha happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Uh, hopefully we've got uh, another great day of games tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Do you know that um, the number one days for, or the reason for calling in sick is... This yeah, is, the, is the opening round. Yeah. A lot of bosses know, like, oh, it's March. People are going to be calling sick. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like productivity, right? So March during uh, Thursday and Friday of March Madness is probably about the same uh, as the day after the Super Bowl, right? Not a lot happening. Yeah, or like uh, <laughs> the day after Halloween with kids and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're not going to get much productivity out of that day. So that's it, guys. We, it's a quick little video tonight. Um, again... We do have a child that's been missing for over 36 hours. So um, if you go to next door, her name is Sarah ASI, his last name. Go on there, and uh, if you have any information, you know, reach out and post out. So um, we are going to continue the uh, celebration, and uh, we will come back next week, hopefully, with the four of us. And uh, just wanted a quick little shout-out. We got our nice little shirts on, and uh, we're just going to hang out. Yep. Happy St. Patrick's Day, San Ramon. Peace.